Hi, I'm Brandon, and I'm a writer. As a child, I grew up in a very strong Christian home with a very loving mother and father that raised me with the one simple idea that you can have eternal life by accepting Christ as your Savior. And I understood that from a very early age. Um, when I was about 10 years old, there was a occurrence in my life that robbed me of my innocence and was a very big wake-up call, if you will, in my life. Um, from that, it set me on a path of hiding in my sin that became to fester it and basically grow within my life in so many areas that consumed me from the inside out. Um, because of my sin in my life, it turned me into a corpse that at one point was filled with dreams and hope and had a lot of big ideas that seemed so impossible and far off that I could never think about dreaming of again because it was so much pain to think of what was once there. I continued going through my life seeking for healing in all the wrong ways to be able to continue moving forward. I wanted to believe that Christ loved me and I did truly believe that Christ loved me. I believed that he died for me. But the one problem was is I didn't know how to have acceptance of that and have that start to heal me. I felt as though that was great for people but that couldn't possibly penetrate the darkness that my life had become. I was completely eroded from the inside out because of the darkness that I was living in and the only way that I could continue to move forward and take a step forward to pretend to even live a fraction of a life is with drugs, alcohol, and all things under the sun to hide in yourself. That consumed my life and felt as though it brought so much death and decay in a way that I could have never imagined because of my choices. I knew that there was a God that loved me and I knew that Jesus had died for me and that this eternal saving was there and was available to me, but I did not think it could penetrate my life. It made me feel as though the darkness in me made me feel as though I was unlovable and felt as though anything that I could do, I was faking every aspect of my life. The relationships that were around me, the life that I would live, the fun that I would have, it was all a facade and it was all fake because I knew what darkness was hiding behind it and I knew the inescapability of it. I got to a point where I was so heavily using drugs that my mind was lost. My mind was lost and my soul ached and there was nothing left. I was a shell of a human being with a corpse that was walking. I was alone in my life, surrounded by people who deeply cared for me and cared for my well-being. And I couldn't accept any of that love because I was hiding behind the mask that I knew I was unsavable, I was unlovable, and I walked around daily in that corpse. It was in a point when the darkness had to basically overcome my mind to the point where it felt like there was no hope left, where my daily life consisted of nothing left but the shell of a human being that I had become. And it was through God showing me in one way that needed myself to surrender. And it was through my surrendering to God that he started to show that there is a life that is there available to me. That he brought the life back into my heart and he brought it back in by showing that someone paid the price for my corpse and my darkness. That I wasn't the one that had to take that burden. And that the forgiveness was available to me through the one area that I could not accept and that was his light that drove out the darkness in myself. And from that is where he was able to show me the people that are around me. I could start to accept the light that he had been pouring into me for so much time. And through that was where the light and the hope began to come back into my life and the dreams that I could not even think of at one point in my life because they were so dead and gone began to have meaning once again and began to be brought he breathed life back into my heart and my mind through that surrendering of myself god was able to breathe that life back in and make new in so many ways that i could never imagine was even possible and i had long forgotten and through that it has been one continual journey upwards 
to show the life and the hope that he has available to me that replaces the dead man walking and the life that he has brought instead. I am a new person with a new creation with a hope that is undying in myself because of the life that he has breathed into me, because of the penalty that he paid for what I couldn't bear to face. He has brought into my life so much hope and passion for life and love and the people around me because of one person named Jesus, and he has showed me ways that I had long forgotten and thought was impossible. The verse that I chose that had been influential in my life was John 10.10, 10, and it says, The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I have come so that you may have life and life to the fullest. And that could not be more true in my life. I was a corpse, and I was walking with no life that had been stolen by a thief. And he has brought in life and showed me that there is so much more that can be lived to the fullest available to me in my life.